Hey, so... Guess who I am? You know, I gotta say, I don't know who was inhaling what when they decided that glass would be the next frame concept, but here we are, I guess. To be honest, I wasn't even that interested in her in the first place. But then I remembered that I signed up for the partnership's day one access thing, and when Poe dropped, I had her thrown into my lap, so... I guess we might as well talk about her? So, take a guess what her abilities involve. How surprising. Anyways, Glass Frame, with an official name that's so stupid it triggered all of Reddit kind, is Manipulator of Glass and Ruiner of Fashion. And yet, despite her concept, <laughs> she's not a glass cannon. I gotta be honest, I didn't expect DE to not go for that obvious design philosophy with a lady that's literally made of fucking glass. Anyways, weeb name aside, Miss Gara here is actually a solid frame who actually has a decent amount of survivability and a big focus on defense, which is a nice breath of fresh air. For whatever reason, a big chunk of the female frames tend to be heavily offensive but terribly squishy. Not like gender matters when we're talking about zombie cyborg ninja things, but whatever, some people care about that, you know? Alright, so I'm going to assume that you already know the most basic of information involving her abilities, so instead let's talk about the mechanics behind them. Her one is your standard projectile pretending to be a damage ability power. I say pretending because, well... Magic missile! Magic missile! Magic missile! Magic missile! Magic missile! To be fair, it could take out some low-level mobs, but much like other one powers that function like this, it costs energy to do that when you could just shoot them. Energy is a form of currency in a battle, and it's much rarer than that of ammo. If a bullet can do the same thing, and in many instances even more, why bother throwing a little <laughs> glass shard at a mob? when you can throw a stronger glass shard at a mob that costs no energy. But anyways, the good news is that it's not really meant for damage as much as it's meant for detonating your ring. The bad news is that the damage from the ring explosion doesn't seem to have much, if any, scaling, just a lot of base damage. Which is okay, and it can deal with decently level trash mobs, but past that it becomes kinda meh. Her 2 is probably her best ability. It's basically Mesa's Shatter Shield with a few differences. Press it, and you'll throw a few pop rocks into the air that circle you and create a damage reducing barrier, much like Shatter Shield. Though unlike Shatter Shield, it doesn't reflect damage, but as an upside, you can give your allies some pop rocks to provide some damage reduction, and you can even apply this to friendly NPCs. So things like that annoying fucking drone in the planes or sortie operatives. As a bonus, if you toss it on an enemy, they'll take additional damage for what seems to be all sources, which is very solid. There are a few weird things about this ability. First off, it likes to push enemies away from you, which is kind of annoying, but only barely. I don't see the point in having this function, but it is kind of funny to push enemies off of ledges in the simulacrum, if nothing else. And I guess it could also help in avoiding accidental finishers due to Gera's passive. The other weirdness is how you refresh your tasty Pop Rock shield. At first, I thought you couldn't, but it turns out you can. By casting your ring. I have no clue why they decided to make it work like that, but hey, there you go. I feel that being able to refresh your shield gives you a massive boost to your survivability. So even if it's done in a weird way, it's still nice to have, I guess. Hey guys, gonna butt in here real quick because I just very recently learned something about Splinterstorm that was not in the video script, nor can I fit it in the video in any fancy way at the moment. So I'm just gonna put this in here kind of crappily, but whatever. So Splinterstorm has damage scaling on it. If you didn't know, if you walk into an enemy while Splinterstorm is up on yourself, it will deal overtime damage. Um, but what's interesting is that if either a Spectre Rage mirror breaks or you shatter your ring, uh, and you're outside to get hit by the shards, it will actually boost the aura damage of uh, Splinter, uh, Splinterstorm. So if we walk into a mob over here, we're dealing about 338 uh, points of damage. Uh, so let's shatter our ring, say, four times. And if we go back and touch them, we are now dealing 1,607 points of damage. 
That is actually pretty damn cool, and I guess that's why they uh, they made it so that your aura gets refreshed if you happen to cast uh, your ring. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Her 3 is an aggro redirection tool that probably sounded really good on paper, but with its current statistics and programming, it's kinda meh. Basically, it falls under the same problem category as her 1 and her 4, lack of scaling. Personally, I kinda wish that the mirrors couldn't break, even if it meant getting a nerf to the damage. Now, it does hurt trash mobs quite a lot, I'll admit, but by far the most useful thing that this ability does is redirecting aggro, not dealing damage. So hopefully they'll give Gera a boost here. By the way, contrary to what might become popular belief, the mirrors do not reflect damage. They simply absorb damage, then break upon taking enough damage, which then hurts mobs nearby. Also, it's genuinely hilarious to see mobs wander into the circle, because the description makes it sound like that you have to trap them. But, nah, they'll just do the deed for you. Her forward does quite a few things, being a decent mix of other abilities in the game. Basically, she throws down one of those plastic soda can rings that grow in size until you hit the ability again. Amongst the things it does, it'll slowly freeze enemies that are caught in the cast, block off enemies from entering the area, block gunfire, and can be exploded for a burst of damage. DE themselves describe this ability as a mix of Nova's Molecular Prime and Frost Snow Globe, and that's a pretty decent comparison, though it does offer much more than that. For one, while the ring doesn't cover the entire area like Snow Globe does, a bonus is that you can shoot into the ring and deal damage which in my opinion is a pretty decent trade-off, especially given that enemies can't enter the ring at all since it acts like a wall, unlike Snow Globe. It's a pretty solid competitor to the Frost meta, although I do think that people will value Frost Globe more simply because it covers more area. Something that's pretty annoying though is that enemies that are coated in glass become immune to status effects, so things like corrosive stop proccing and whatnot. It's pretty damn weird, because Gara's glass weaponry all focus on high status chance, and yet enemies frozen by her 4 become immune to status effects. However, this might have been done because enemies that are frozen into glass actually take additional damage. Is it worth missing out on corrosive progress or anything like that? Uh, well, I'll let you decide that. And that's basically Gara. She's a very, very good jack-of-all-trades that has some scaling issues. Overall, her name is fucking stupid.